Today we're going to be going over how to get started in WordPress so that you can launch a professional quality website in just a few minutes. You don't have to know any code to make something great. For this webinar, I'm going to assume you've already signed up with Bluehost and have WordPress installed. If you haven't done that already, it's super easy. You can just go to bluehost.com and sign up with one of our hosting packages. There's a couple options to choose from, but everything we have works very well with WordPress. While we're setting up your account, you can choose a WordPress theme and then go straight from there into building your website. One of the things to keep in mind is when you're at this stage where you've just installed WordPress, your site won't be published publicly to the world yet. What we do is we throw up a coming soon page on your website that looks like this so that you can look at your site, get everything ready and prepared, and then publish it when you're ready. So we're just going to assume you already have a Bluehost account and that you have WordPress installed. What we want to cover in this webinar is where to go from here. Let's get started. So I'm just at bluehost.com and I'll just log into my account here by clicking log in. After entering a username and password, I'm taken into my account, which looks like this. Under the My Sites section is where all my WordPress sites would be. I only have the one because I just got this account for this webinar. So what I'll do is just click Log into WordPress to log myself in. I'm starting to get into photography. So for this demo, I'll make myself a website for photography, just a simple, easy, personal site that might have some business application in the future. So when I first log into WordPress, um, I'm asked a series of questions that will help me set up my site a lot faster and easier. So let's just go through these really quickly. What kind of site can we help you set up? Business or personal? I'm going to choose personal. Name and describe your website. Well, for the title, I want to call it Miles Photography. And site description, let's say Capture It All. And if any of these things, I get a better idea or I want to change it later on, it's really easy. I can just go into settings and change all of these things. So there's really no wrong answers here. Are you going to update your site with news or blog posts? Yes. What should visitors see on your homepage? Most recent news or updates or a static welcome page? Let's say a static welcome page. Do we want to build a starter contact us page? Yes, I do. So now it's asking me to connect to WordPress.com. Now, you have a self-hosted WordPress site, which is usually people describe that as a WordPress.org site. The reason we're connecting to WordPress.com is it's going to provide some extra functionality to our website for free. And it's really handy stuff. And it's really easy. Uh, all I do is click connect to WordPress.com. So, I'm already signed into my WordPress.com account, so when I click Connect to WordPress.com, all I have to do is click Approve. If you don't have a WordPress.com account, you can sign up for one for free, and it'll just let you sign up right there when you click it. So either you can sign up or sign in. Once you're there, you just click Approve, and it'll authorize the connection and take you right back into this process. So we can continue on. So the next thing I want to do is uh, take you over to some of these icons on the left. So at the very top, we have the Bluehost section, which is kind of a springboard into a lot of different things on your site. right? But the one I want to draw your attention to is this button right here. Now this is what will let you launch your site when you're ready to go live. Because right now, it just sort of looks like this. So if we click this button at the top where it says Visit Site, we can see what it looks like, right? And we can look at it and work on it, but everyone else is just going to see this coming soon page. We're the only people that can see this website because we're signed in. But when we want to launch, we can click Launch. So the next thing it's asking for is uh, to add a business address if we have one. So I'm just going to paste that in really quick. Now, if I'm looking to sell something online, I can install something called WooCommerce, which is going to add a store functionality to my website. 
I'm not ready to do that just yet, but when I am, I can come back to it. So I'll say, not now. Now when I go over to posts, this is where you can add blog posts, if you'd like. And pages is where you can add pages to your website. So things like our contact us page or our homepage. So I'll click on the homepage here and I'll paste in some information that I want on my homepage that I've already written out. And now I just have to click update to save it. And there it is. Now when I go back to my pages, here's the contact us page. Now one thing I want to change is instead of it saying contact us, I'm going to change it to contact me since this is just a website about my photography. So let's do contact me. Another thing I can change is the actual URL of the page. So I'll just change that to contact because that used to be contact hyphen us. I've got some info to paste in here. I uh, like this. I'll just click update. Great. Now I can just take a look at what I have so far. I can just click the name of the website up here and that'll take me to the site. So this is the home page. This is that little block of text that I pasted in. If I want to change the way that it looks, a good place to start is in appearance. So if I go to appearance, here are the themes that are already installed, and to use one I just click activate. But there's only three here, and there's a lot more I can choose from. So there's two categories, premium themes and wordpress.org themes. The premium themes are provided through the Mojo Marketplace. The main difference between premium and wordpress.org is the wordpress.org ones are free, these ones cost money. The reason you might want a premium theme Usually it's sort of an all-in-one sort of package, and you can find something that's useful for a specific niche. Like if you have a restaurant site, you might be able to find a restaurant theme. Or if you have a, a recipe blog that's focused on publishing recipes, you might find one that is designed especially for that, right? And it might save you a lot of time and energy that way. Um, so it's one option. Another option, if you don't want to spend money on a theme, is you can use one of the free ones, and there's a lot of really good free ones. So under WordPress.org themes, this is where you find the free ones. And if you see one that you like, you can just install it. You just click install. And from here, you click activate if you want to use it immediately. But after you install it, it's now in this list of installed themes on our site. We can use any of these. So if I click activate, then it'll activate that theme. And then when I go to my website, now it's using that theme. It looks very different now. So if I go back to appearance, I'll go back to 2017, because that's the one I think I want to use for this demo. It's a really good theme. Now that I've picked the theme, let me try to tweak it and customize it a little bit and make it the way I want. So I'll go up here to customize at the top. And I've got some options here on the side. And by the way, here's another place you can change your themes. That's just a little fun tip. So uh, to go back to customize, I've got some options here on the side. Under site identity, I can add some things and change some things. Miles photography and capture it all we've already chosen, but we can change them if we want. Let's add a logo. And then get a file right off my computer. So it'll upload, I can crop it if I need to, and then it'll just use it. Now something interesting to notice is these little pencil icons here. When you click on these, it'll take you right to the part of the menu where you can change stuff. So if I want to change this image here, I can go here and click Add New Image. Upload something interesting. Select and crop. Crop the image. And here we go. Right, it's that easy. If I want to change capture it all to capture it all on film, I can do that. Let me also add this camera as a site icon. Now what a site icon is, is it'll show up in the corner of your browser right here, and it'll show up if somebody saves your website as an app on their phone. So 
just a little personalization to make it yours. Now, all of these changes I've made so far haven't been saved, so I can kind of play around with some stuff uh, if I'm not sure about it, but I like these changes, so I'm going to click Save and Publish. And uh, let's go to Colors. So the next thing I can change are, I can start customizing colors here, but I really like the dark theme, so I'm just going to use that. Header media we've already changed, but one fun thing you can do is you can actually use a video if you want. You can upload a video or even a YouTube URL and put that here instead. Uh, some people do that, it's really cool. Something else I can do is under theme options, I can insert some block sections if I want. So under section one, if you remember that contact me page that we made, so if I select that here, that puts that information right here on the page, so you can just scroll down to get to it. So that's kind of nice. So if I say save and publish here, so save. Now when I, uh, close this out, I can take a look at what I've made so far. And if you notice up here, I've got little edit buttons. So if I want to edit this section, I can just click edit. And I'm taken into the part where I can edit this. Um, I don't really want it to say home page. Maybe I should make it say, hi, I'm Chris. And then I'll take that out from here. And then we can just go back to the page and see how it looks, see if I like it. Hi, I'm Kurt. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, so we'll use that. Um, another fun thing that we can do um, is when you're on a page, there's something called a featured image. This is especially useful for blog posts. Uh, if you've ever noticed that a lot of times if somebody publishes a page or a post or something like that, there'll be a picture kind of at the top featured. So what I can do here is just go into select featured image and I'll upload something else. Here's a fun picture. So set featured image. Now this will show up as the featured image of this page. Now one of the fun things that this theme happens to do is it uses the featured image right above that section. We get this really cool parallax effect right above the contact page, which for a photography website is perfect. That's right what we need. So let's keep customizing. Under Menus, I can click Add a Menu. Let's call this one the Main Menu. And I'll use it for the top menu, which goes right here at the top of the page. And then I'll click Add Items to add more to it. Here's all my pages. I can also add, if I had any posts, I would be able to add them. For my menu, I think I'll add the Home Page a link to the blog, and for now that's it. And maybe I'll add some more later. But I think that's good for that menu, so I can just click Save and Publish. And then I'll add one more menu, and I'll call this one Social Media. And I'll use this as the Social Links menu. Now when I click Add Items, I'll have a chance here to uh, add some links from social media. I'm just going to go to custom links, I'll paste in a link to my Twitter, call this one Twitter, and add it to the menu. Let's add my LinkedIn, uh, and we'll call this LinkedIn, add to menu. For now, that should probably be it. So we can click Save and Publish, and then that's what we have right here at the bottom. And if I want to edit it in the future, I can just click this, click Edit Menu. I can just paste that in and say Facebook, and just add that to the menu, Save and Publish, and here it is. One other really fun thing you can do while you're in the customizer is, I know what it looks like on a computer, but if I want to see what it looks like on a tablet or on a phone, I can just go down here to the bottom, and click this, and it'll resize it for me. 
right, so I can get a better idea of how it looks. See, and a couple of things change. The menu changes a little bit, gives me kind of a different perspective on how this will look. It's pretty handy. So there's a fun little tip. Now, one last thing I want to show you is this Bluehost tab here. So this um, is kind of a starting point for a lot of really useful things. You can add blog posts, you can change things. Remember how before we had an option to install WooCommerce, like if I wanted to start selling things? If I ever change my mind and I want to start doing that, I can just do that right here. It'll let you do things like look at your stats, you can publicize your website, push things out to social media. There's a lot of really cool stuff, and I would really encourage you to explore this section of your site and see all the cool stuff that you can do here. Hopefully this information has been helpful. Thank you for watching, and thank you for creating with WordPress.